that's going on. Okay. Okay, so this is the observer, uh, just to help everyone get into a deeper place. So with the observer, please be, um, be aware that um, whatever you're feeling right now, whatever you're thinking, um, it's to use that as, your, as, your, as an experience of yourself. So if you're, if you're experiencing your body or feelings in the body or thoughts in mind, whatever seems to be strongest, use that as, um, as, the, as the object that allows you to go uh, as an object, which allows you to be the observer of that object. So as a metaphor, if there were clouds in the, in the sky, uh, then you are the observer of those clouds. Hence, that's not, don't go to your mind for this, but just be the observing. So let's just start with thoughts. If there's any interest or any hooking in or any identification uh, with thoughts in the mind at this point, recognize that they're passing. Just like if I was to put my hand up and put it across the screen, it's a passing object. So what's observing the thoughts? Can you be the observer of thoughts rather than being hooking into the thoughts? Now don't go to your head or try and think about this, but see if there's a deeper witnesser of the thoughts which is not in the field of thinking. Just like uh, there's a detached observing and a space opens up so that the thoughts are out there, but the deep witnesser is within. Uh, just like St. Francis said, what you're looking for is where you're looking from. So as these, so it's a power of consciousness to witness anything that is passing, changing, or an object. If you're into the observer, uh, then try and, if this observer is still hooking into thoughts, see if that's what I call the interested observer or the identified observer. See if you can go to the observer of this observer, which is not, which is uh, uninterested in the interested observer. So as you go deeper within, there's a letting go, a spiritual letting go of hooking in to phenomena of passing, uh, passing objects, shall we say, uh, in the outside world. If you suddenly, if there's a thought that emerges in consciousness and you hook into it, the only reason that you've hooked into the next thought is because it's a special thought. Or otherwise you wouldn't hook in. All meaningless thoughts are very easy to not hook into. So the way to let go of hooking into any thought is to realize that you don't even need to hook into special thoughts. So if a special thought arises in the next thought, forget about it, don't hook in. There is no such thing as the next special thought. And then you can stay and remain in the detached observer of thoughts and not not pick up the bait for the next thought and go deeper within. The next thing is, are there any feelings in the body? Like for example, if there's any awareness of any sensations, it could be a tightness in the stomach or tension in the head or anything of that nature, that is an object, just like a cloud is an object. So use that, it's got a shape, it might be like, feel like a football in the stomach or a fog in the head realize that's an object just like a cloud and so there is that which is witnessing or observing any feelings in the body. So being the observer, can you be in the position of the detached witnesser and not hooking in to any feeling? Once you realize this, once this space opens up and there's a, now a witnesser of this feeling, then it'll start to fade because as, you, as one let goes of the interest, the investment and the meaning of any objects out there that seem to be out there, they start to uh, fade away into the background as they seem to not be able to get hooked into. So it's just a practice if there's a feeling going on, being the witnesser of that. And if that witnesser is hooking in, see if there's a witnesser of that witnesser until these feelings are unhooking. The next thing is the body. Is there an awareness of the body, like how tall it is or the shape of the body? If there is that experience of body, then be the 
can you be the detached, uh, the observer of the body? So anything that has a shape that is so tall or so wide is a limited object. So what is observing any limited object that's arising? Is the witnesser limited? If the witness is the witnesser of the body, the shape of the body, confined or limited to the body. So see this as your own experience. And if the witnesser of the body seems to be in some way hooking in or contracted, what's observing the, uh, the limited observer? Is the observer of the limited observer limited? So in this way, you're using the process of self-inquiry that if there's an experience of an object or a passing object or a passing thought or a feeling, then that is a limited object. And what's observing that? And use these as experiential questions. Don't go to your head. If there's any pictures arising, what observes uh, images that come and go? What observes thoughts that come and go? What observes sensations in the body or feelings come and go? What observes the shape of the body? Is the observer in any way limited? And if it is, what's observing the limited body? So let's just take a minute now just to go deep within that and then uh, we'll resume. 